Hi, this is John with Go Engineer. Today I'd like to talk about convergence in SolidWorks Solver. Coming into a new study, we can have sometimes too many goals, or maybe we're actually trying to sweep a model for whatever values we can find in whatever direction we can find. In this example, I have a Formula One racer wing, or something similar to it, in a computational domain that is traveling at the negative 100 meters per second in the negative y direction. And I have a couple goals scattered everywhere across both these sides, side over there, and this side. And I also have some surface goals. Solving this in our solver, we will see what values actually make sense to find values as these values will converge, and we'll see what values don't make sense to have, thusly those that don't converge, or no solution. And pulling up our solver. We'll even see that some of our data will not actually make sense and they're invalid. As we see our values start to come in, we aren't noticing a lot of convergence, especially with our downforce and drag force, nor with the rest of our values. So we're going to stop the study in order to save some computational resources. After our study has been finished running, we can check actually calculation time and how many iterations it took to reach some resemblance of a answer. Looks like we have 203 iterations and it took us 10 minutes, almost 11 minutes. However, we'll note that we don't even have some of our values that can have converged. Note uh, downforce, something that was a surface goal for us, and our drag force have not converged. Likewise, our friction forces, if we scroll down, these came invalid. So in the solver, we can eliminate some of these because they're not giving us any meaningful data. After we have decided which of our goals are the most important, we can go into our calculation control options and deselect all of the goals that are not giving us any, anything that can converge. So unfortunately, we do have to go individually and click each one of these. The shift and control options just uh, don't work out. But once we're run, when ready, we can run this study. And we will see the goals in our design window. They'll turn red. That means that the solver is not going to search for any values pertaining to these goals. And after our study has completed running, we can now observe our two converged goals, our first one with 554 newtons in the negative y direction and negative 250 newtons in the z direction. And checking our CPU or travels with calculation time, uh, looks like we still ended up uh, just under 11 minutes. So it looks like we are able to trim down our solving time and trimming down what goals are not going to converge and focus on what will converge. This is John with Go Engineer signing off with a quick tip for convergence solving.